how to create an online course with Samcart. So maybe you saw my previous video on how to create a sales page with Samcart. Samcart started out as a sales page software and have since expanded into other areas such as memberships as well as online courses. So you can host your online course with Samcart. It's really, really easy to set up. If you wanna follow along in today's tutorial, I'll put a link down below in the description where you can sign up for a free 14 day trial. This is our affiliate link. So if you sign up and upgrade to a paid plan, we may earn a commission, but at no extra cost to you. Now let's hop on the computer and build our course. Here's what it'll look like when you click on the link in the description below. To get started, click on try for free, and then they're gonna show you the three different plans that they have. If we scroll down further, what you're gonna see is with any of the plans, the core features include unlimited courses. So you can choose which of the plans you think makes the most sense. We end up using the middle growth plan because it includes, you can see right here, order bumps and purchase upsells, which allow us to sell more each time someone visits one of our sales page. But to create the course, just create your account. I'm just gonna log in right now. After you log in, what you wanna do is hover over apps and then click on courses app. And from here, click on create new course, give it a title. So, Let's create a course for launching your YouTube channel. If you wanna change the course URL, you can do that. So we could say channel update. Course synopsis, say four YouTube videos in four weeks. And then, so here, if you wanted to add additional information about the course, you could add a video, an image. This is just for kind of the basic overview of the course. This is not the page you would use to actually sell the course. So I'm not gonna worry about filling this in right now. I could add an image though. So here is one that I created before. Insert image. Okay, so we've got the image, we've got all this filled out. Moving on from here, the next section are the units and lessons. So what we wanna do now is create the first unit. So unit one, create your channel. And so what you can do here is you can have different tiers. So depending on, if you saw the sales page video, we, we essentially had three different pricing plans. So you could offer different things, maybe certain modules are only available for a more advanced or more expensive plan, or you just have everything all within the same, the same kind of pricing tier. But we can do here is go to say, we want this to be upgrade. So we could have two different plans. And then for each of the different units, what we wanna do are actually here, control by access. Do you want the access to be by unit or by lesson. So the lessons are within each of the units. I would say, let's set this up by unit. So unit one, create your channel will be available for basic. And then if you go to assign tier as well as upgrade. And then, so what we can do here is create our first lesson channel setup and then edit within the page editor. Again, here you can change the actual URL for specific lessons. The featured video is the video that's going to be kind of taking up the whole width of the page that you can add here. But if you wanted to add text first and then insert videos later, I, we can do that as well. So we could say, hey, in this will. So if I didn't wanna use the featured video here, we could insert a video down below as well by just clicking insert video, paste the video URL. One thing to keep in mind in Samcart is you're gonna need somewhere else to host your videos. That's both for sales pages as well as for the courses. So you could use YouTube, Vimeo, Wistia, Vidyard, there's a ton of different options. We're currently using Vimeo quite a bit. And let's just for this tutorial, insert some of our different YouTube videos. So create a channel, we have a YouTube video for that. Let's just insert that right here, insert. And so when you add the video here within kind of the text, it's gonna show up kind of not, not taking up the entire screen. If what I wanted to do is add content, and then it, add, it lets me choose the type of content that I want to add. So if, if I wanted to add a video like that, what's going to happen here, we have a video section right here. Let's just add the exact same video right here, insert video. And so you can see it takes up the entire width just to show you all the different places. Why don't I add the exact same video right here as well? And then when we go to view this lesson, you're going to see how each of those looks a little bit different. You also have additional options for images, audio, and downloads. But I think, you know, most of our online courses are primarily video based, maybe have a couple downloads. Also, if you want, you can add, have the downloads right here. You can add a download. You can have quizzes as well as worksheets. I think for lesson one, that's probably pretty good. And then let's go back. 
So maybe that's the only lesson within this unit. Let's create another unit. Let's say recording your first video. This is available for both tiers. Let's add a lesson, make a YouTube video edit. Okay, so for this lesson, again, we could change the URL, we could add content, let's just add only a featured video this time. So here is a video on how to make videos with your phone. Why don't we answer that? Make a YouTube video with phone. One thing to keep in mind, we would recommend that you use Vimeo, Wistia, Vidyard, something like that for your videos if you can. Obviously YouTube is free, the other ones are paid. The thing is with YouTube, you can easily click through and go to YouTube, watch other stuff, be distracted. Also you can click through, have the URL for the YouTube video so someone could share that with their friends. They don't have to be part of the online course to view those videos. They would be unlisted, so they're not gonna just show up generally on your channel. But the thing is, if you use a platform like Vimeo, you have much more control over where you share your videos and how people have access to them. So for example, here is our Vimeo account. So we have some videos uploaded here. You could go to copy link, copy video. And you know, here I could go to add content, add video. And again, it's gonna work basically the same way if I were to insert this video here. And so the thing is here, you're not gonna see the links to be able to go to YouTube and then have the actual URL for this video. They're only gonna be able to view the video here. But if you're just getting started, don't worry too much about it. You can get by with free YouTube videos. Let's maybe delete this section. So if we go to, uh, that deletes on the left side right here. Are you sure? Yes, get rid of it save okay let's go back okay so let's say these two units were available for the basic and the upgrade now if we were to create another unit that we only wanted to be available for the upgrade essentially what we would do here is we would delete basic and then we would add upgrade right here and then create the lesson okay so on this one we're going to talk about how to edit videos maybe this is something that was only available with an upgraded plan let's say so then we added this lesson again, exact same thing. Let's go and add a video. We have one of those as well. There's that. Again, there's obviously tons of stuff you can add here, bulleted list, numbered list, how you align stuff, strike through. You know, you can definitely play around to see what, what types of things you want to add in addition to it. I'm just doing videos right now. Then say this lesson, and let's just say that was the entire course. So we go back, we have two units that are available for the basic and the upgrade, and then unit three is only available for someone who upgrades. And that could be our entire course. The next thing we wanna go through is the scheduling. So for scheduling, this is essentially how you want someone to have access to the content. Do you wanna drip content out? So you can potentially do you know, one unit, say per week, so drip scheduling, and then what you're gonna to to do, day of the week and zero days after previous for maybe the first one. And then this one could be say seven days later. And this unit could be another seven days later if you wanted to do it, you know, something like this. Or if you just click on that drop down and go to instant access, that means that someone has access to the ent entire, you know, course material right away. Okay, so let's leave this as instant access so the student gets access to everything all at once. The next piece are the public details. So what's gonna happen here? So let's say I was taking the course and I share with a friend the link of being like, hey, I'm taking this course, you should definitely check it out. They may share the link where someone isn't yet logged in yet. What is that gonna that page gonna look like? So you wanna essentially have the description of the course, but then there's a button to purchase, taking them to the URL for your sales page. So in this case, it would be the sales page within Samcart, but you need to add the URL here. So this is for our Instagram Reels course in Spanish, but it's the one that I remember the URL for, the purchase button text. So purchase course. And then so obviously I could add a ton more in terms of the description of the course. We're not gonna do that today. And then you could add either an image or a video. So let's just add a video here. Obviously this would be more something kind of talking about what the course is. So maybe let's not do that. Let's just go and add the, the image of the course. Yes, I know I am an amazing graphic designer. Look at what I did. Okay, so that are the public details. So if someone isn't signed in, this is what they're gonna see. Then you go to assign products. So basically you have we have two products right now. So we have the basic tier and the upgrade tier and basically which of the Samcart sales pages are we gonna assign to these? So if we go to assign products, so if you saw the 
tutorial on how to build a sales page. We could go to tutorial product basic could be the basic tier. So we add that right there. So if someone purchases from this page, they have access to the basic tier and then assign products to this. And I think there was something else, but oh, I named it upgrade. I'm pretty good at this and save that there. So basically there would be one sales page one sales page and there's different pricing tiers, depending on the tier that they chose, then you would have the different accesses given by assigning the products right here. If I wanted to add a cross sell, so let me just show you what that looks like. Essentially, while someone is viewing the course, they're gonna have another course that's being offered to them. So let's get that set up. So let's you can choose what you want the design to look like, choose the colors, and then add course cross sell. Then let's make it active, oh, choose a product first. Uh, what do we wanna do? Sure, the Instagram course that I was telling you about. Make it active. Uh, and then what do, you want, what do you want the button to say? The featured image. So what do we want the image to be? I think I have something we can use. Best course ever, select image. Okay, so this is the course image. The button is gonna say unlock now, grow your Instagram with Reels, Instagram Reels course. And I think the cross sale is good to go. Okay, that is saved. Let's go back. And what do we wanna do now? So if we just go through some of the options along the side, so if we click on students, what we could do here is we could essentially add additional students, kind of one person at a time. Or if we go back, we could essentially import students as well. So we could select the course and essentially upload a CSV file with a list of all of their names and email addresses so they would get access to the course. So for example, if you were switching from Teachable to Samcart and you moved all your courses here, you would want to move all your students over as well. Then settings, what do we have here? So business name, logo, you can give the course library a name and a description, choose your brand color, choose your primary time zone. So that's essentially that. Now let's just look, let's just take a look at what this is gonna look like. So if you wanna see what your course looks like, if you're on the course library page like this, you can click on preview, or if you're within one of the courses editing it, you have the view course up in the top right corner. So here's what it's gonna look like when a student is logged into the course. So you have the image here, the title, the kind of subtitle, they could click on resume course. Here's where the cross self shows up. So if we open up that real quick, I think it'll open it up in a new tab. Here is the sales page for our Instagram Reels course. Let's go back to preview again. So going down further, if we go to the lesson, here's essentially how this is gonna look here. So this was the featured video, and then you have the, the text, and then here's what it looks like when you add a video to the text, it comes in smaller like this. If you add a section for the video, it again is gonna be taking up the full width. You can navigate through the different materials along the left side here. So I could go to the video editing section, right? Like that, or kind of the same thing. If you go back to the course, you have everything here. It looks like this green bar is gonna show you how much progress you've made on the course. Now let's take a look really quick at what it's gonna look like for somebody who hasn't purchased the course. So if we go back to dashboard, here is the course URL. Let's open up incognito because I'm currently logged in to my SamCard account. And here's essentially what it's gonna look like for someone who hasn't purchased the course. So you have login up at the top. You can purchase the course right here where it's essentially gonna take them to the sales page. They can see what the material is, but you can see the lock symbol. So it's not gonna let somebody uh, go in and view any of the materials. It's going to say how many videos, quizzes, worksheets, and files are within the course. And if they were to click on directory, they would see the different courses that we have available. That's how easy it is to create your online course with SamCart. If you now want to learn how to create a sales page with SamCart, check out the video up above. If you want to compare SamCart to Teachable, check out the Teachable video down below. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye-bye.